these games are ranked by play score, a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. Opening our list of top 10 PC military shooters is Day of Infamy. New World Interactive's World War II shooter is an intense war experience with over-the-top sense of realism. Set during the height of the Second World War, lead your team in a grueling defensive position against hordes of invaders. Its hardcore gameplay with a heavy emphasis on teamwork-oriented objectives made this a definite choice for players looking for a good military shooter. It was well received mainly due to its high-octane combat and dying with only two gunshots. Additionally, it contains over 60 real weapons to choose from. It's a really good game and worryingly realistic, so you don't want to let your grandpa play this one. It has a play score of 7.91. Number 9 is Battlefield 3. Wherever you go around the internet, you can never ignore Battlefield 3's massive success. This 11th installment of the famed first-person shooter sold over 5 million copies during its first week and gave birth to a growing multiplayer community. The game was praised for its two sectors, its online and single-player experience. Both are good in terms of gameplay and presentation, but the game truly shines in its multiplayer. Players can choose between four roles to provide a helping hand in the battlefield. Choose from a wide variety of modes including Deathmatch, Rush, Conquest, and so much more. It receives a play score of 8.17. Number 8 is Arma 3. The feature is grim in the year 2030. Arma 3 is a massive military sandbox game from Bohemia Interactive. It features an authentic action experience, especially with its single and multiplayer content. Its campaign lets you take control of a U.S. Army corporal in a mission to infiltrate enemy bases and commandeering large-scale armored operations, ride military vehicles, use iconic weaponry, and get drawn into its realism. Aside from its solo elements, its online mode is as wide-scale as its story. Form a squad and jump into the game's multiple game modes, including stuff from its various expansions. With its success, it's awarded as PC Gamer's 2013 Game of the Year for Simulation and Premier Military Game for the PC. Of course, it has a play score of 8.18. Number 7 is Sniper Elite 4. Nazi killing couldn't be more fun in Rebellion's latest entry. Wartime Italy is slowly consumed by the evil of fascism. As Carl Fairburn, it's your task to eliminate these vile human beings, one bullet at a time. After the events of the first game, follow him as he leads his band of brothers to restore Italy to its rightful place. As the latest entry to their award-winning series, it greatly improves on all fronts. With the game's enhanced verticality, players can now increase the chances of fighting the perfect spot of infiltration and stealth. Just customize your loadout and choose from the game's wide arsenal of juicy World War II weapons. As usual, the game doesn't forget about its iconic X-ray kill cam. Landing the precise shot grants you the satisfaction of watching their internal organs get blown up in spectacular fashion. It has a play score of 8.19. Number 6 is Insurgency. From New World Interactive, feel the hardcore action of close quarters combat in the Source Engine-based experience. For the uninitiated, this was a follow-up to the award-winning Source mod. Now it's rebuilt with better visuals and highly competitive one-life gameplay. If you suck at first-person shooters, you're gonna have a hard time. Like most PC games nowadays, the game is divided into two modes, online and co-op. The former delights you with nine team-based game modes with intense objectives, whereas the latter lets you grab a friend and take down enemy AI together in increasingly difficult waves. It receives a play score of 8.25. Number 5 is Rising Storm. Tripwire Interactive standalone expansion to Red Orchestra 2, Heroes of Stalingrad. All thanks to the impressive modding community, they brought together a title focused on the Pacific campaign of World War II. This realistic first-person shooter borrows most of its mechanics from Red Orchestra 2, but it brings in a whole arsenal of American and Japanese weapons. Play between four of its playable factions such as the U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Army, Imperial Japanese Army, and the Special Naval Landing Forces. Relive the iconic moments from the Battle of Peleliu and Iwo Jima. It has a play score of 8.29. Number 4 is Spec Ops The Line. Six years after its release, this Jaeger development title still remains in the hearts of the shooting game enthusiasts. Not like they have a choice, but with its story that tests every bit of your moral fiber. With influences that range from Conrad's Heart of Darkness and Coppola's Apocalypse Now, Spec Ops is one cinematic video game. Play as the Captain Martin Walker fighting alongside Delta Force and against his weakening mental state. Hide behind the covers of Dubai's deserts and defeat your enemies before the demons come haunting. Although it captures the gray areas of war, some players thought the gameplay wasn't quite up to snuff. 
Still, it's a memorable title that puts a new perspective on the military shooter. It has a play score of 8.33. Number 3 is Red Orchestra 2, Heroes of Stalingrad. It's Luftwaffe's The Color of Blood Red and Triple R Interactive stellar reenactment of the Battle of Stalingrad. A follow-up to their successful Ostfront 41-45, Heroes of Stalingrad still revolves around our comrades in red as they face the Germans in the largest confrontation of the Second World War. Both a tactical and first-person shooter, victory will require your wits as well as your grit. This sequel comes with a slew of new features and improvements like blind firing undercover and collision detection. Side by side with their already established mechanics, the game aims to please with a realistic portrayal of life on warring grounds. So, remember to check your ammo and learn to bandage up those pesky bullet holes. Like the Saving Private Ryan of video games, it has been widely praised for its realism and is still remembered as one of the premier war shooters of today. It has a play score of 8.33. Number 2 is Counter-Strike Global Offensive Valve's glory days are defined by its first-person shooters. Counter-Strike Source signified the series' success to the shooter genre along with the Half-Life series. Now, Global Offensive was built on the strong foundations of the already established franchise, slapping it on with updated visuals, improved multiplayer, and a few new modes. It provides an intense skill-based system that, even today, it still has an active community, especially in esports. While its punishing learning curve might be too much for newcomers, the grind is always worth, giving you a chance to prove yourself. It has a play score of 8.51. And here are the runners-up before we reveal the number one. Call of Duty Black Ops The original and commonly hailed as one of the best Call of Duty games to date with the sales reaching new heights during its release. It has a play score of 7.89. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege Ubisoft's leading first-person shooter in the market. Take control of highly trained operators from various countries around the world and engage in intense close-quarters 5v5 shootouts. Use their unique abilities to take control of the battlefield. It has a play score of 7.88. Verdun, a World War I shooter set during the merciless trench warfare. It's bloody and as usual for most shooters on this list, it's realistic as hell. Packed with accurate both physics and an authentic World War I setting, it's a historical event told right. It has a play score of 7.87. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Treyarch's sequel to the best-selling Black Ops series still has the single-player campaign to wow the players, and it doesn't hold back with its dark and conspiracy-ridden storytelling. It has a play score of 7.73. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Infinity Ward's favorable single-player shooter and a testament to the single-player experience of the Call of Duty franchise. Follow Captain Price, Soap, and friends in an effort to quell a growing Russian threat. It has a play score of 7.71. You may get these games right now by clicking the links below. And the best PC military shooter is Battlefield Bad Company 2. Now 8 years old, Bad Company 2 is still renowned as arguably the best of the entire series. Packed with impressive sound design and destructible environments, it felt like the most realistic Battlefield game during its time. Ride around the Ashen Lands with cars and helicopters and discover the sweet thrills of its expansive squad-based experiences. While the multiplayer mode isn't as effective as before, it still remains as one unforgettable war experience. It has a play score of 